big truck. They have no idea how they interrupt my life. Hey everybody, it's design time. You may notice that the wall behind me is different. There are a lot of rooms in my home that are getting makeovers and this is one of them. Anyway, today we are going to talk about staging your own home and we are going to do this for under $250. Mind you, this is meant for occupied homes. You can't stage a vacant home for even close to $250. Let's get started. I'm going to first explain when you're staging your home, there are three very important viewing areas that the buyers are really going to look at when deciding whether or not your home is for them. And that is the dining room, living room, and master bedroom. Now that's not to say that the rest of your house shouldn't have some staging like cleaning and decluttering and depersonalizing, but those are the three spaces that you need to make sure look their best. So again, we're going to assume that you have bedroom furniture, living room furniture, and dining furniture. These are not necessarily accessories, but these are the things that are going to make these rooms more of a pleasure to view. Let's just say that. Now I've tried to make this as easy as possible because it should be. Normally I would go to stores like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, maybe World Market, Pier 1, even Ross maybe for some pillows. Okay, here is my Amazon cart, and I have put everything in there that I feel would really improve the look of the home and help it sell. There are 12 things in my cart, and we are going to start with, let's start with the dining room, shall we? All right, in the dining room, we are going to set the table. We're gonna make it look welcoming and inviting by setting the table with dishes, napkins, and placemats. Not necessarily in that order. So I've chosen these round woven placemats. You only need four. You can set the table for six if you really want to, but I've only ever staged with four place settings and I leave the head of the tables empty. So this comes with a set of four, even though it shows six placemats. That's perfect. They're round. I like that shape. And I've chosen to put on top of this, not round plates, but more of a squared off set. And this set is for four. So perfect. 12 pieces. You get a bowl and a plate and a mug. That's perfect. I won't be using the mugs. You can actually put those in the kitchen to warm it up a little bit, make it look like you're about to give somebody some tea or coffee or a pumpkin latte. The last thing for the dining table, because I don't like to put too much stuff on the table when I'm staging. I like plates, napkins, bowls, placemats, and that's about it. I don't put silverware. I don't put glasses usually, sometimes. Anyway, what I would do here with the three things that I just mentioned, placemat, plate, napkin, bowl on top of that napkin and boom, you have a setting for four. I also chose a little bit of a centerpiece for that table. They are little topiary shrubs, three of them to line up lengthwise along with the table. So there's the dining room. Now I might add that you may already have these things in your home. I have just chosen it as if these are the things that you want to use to stage your home with. Maybe your plates are orange or you don't have any placemats or the only napkins that you have are paper. I don't know. Anyway, that would be it for the dining room. Now we are going to go to the living room. Again, this is assuming that you have a sofa or two and perhaps a chair. Throw pillows is something that I would normally buy at the aforementioned stores, but I'm trying to get it all done on Amazon in case anyone is as lazy as I am and would like it delivered to their home. I have never tried any of these products. I just found them and I thought they were a good price and would definitely do the job nicely. So this is a set of four pillows, 18 by 18, which is the normal throw pillow size. And they have gray, black, white, 
and the only color color is blue and there's just a little bit of that but you need the actual inserts so we are going to buy those as well that's part of the 250 dollars there are four of those which is perfect for that last set of pillowcases yeah normally you can get the whole thing at say home goods insert with the case already around it but I've also chosen some other pillows and if those don't go with the living room, then we can put them in the bedroom. And these, I just thought were so cute. I love the color. It's very close to the blue of the other pillows, but you get a set of these for $8.40. I might actually order these myself. All right, so that takes care of the sofa. Art is always a very important part of decorating a house and I have chosen, it's triptych, which I don't normally like to have three paintings that need to be even with each other and the same distance apart, but these were pretty nice and a good price. Let's see, $26.99. They are a perfect size to go above a sofa. And finally in the living room, Actually, these can be put anywhere, including a bathroom. This is a set of three vases. They're very neutral. They can go anywhere. You can put some flowers in them or leave them the way that they are. Anyway, I am going to pretend that we put those on the coffee table. Okay, goodbye living room. We are now going to head to the last room, which is the master bedroom. And I have chosen a coverlet set, like a quilt. And this is because I didn't want to do the duvet because then you actually have to put that onto your bed and that might not be something you're used to. So I chose a bright white coverlet set. And when you're ready to show the house, you can simply put this quilt over your normal bedding and you're good to go. Oh and maybe a pillow or two from the living room. That's kind of the most important thing is what your bed looks like, making sure that it looks clean, tidy, and again, welcoming, but not so welcoming that fires are gonna lay in your bed. So this is just to throw on top of your bed to give it a little bit of color. And this is a, what, ice blue colored blanket. I guess I like blue. And that's just a nice little accent for your very plain white bed. Okay, the very last thing for that master bedroom is the master bath. And I have chosen, once again, a bright white set of towels. And that includes two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths. I have another video that shows you how to style those towels, but it doesn't really matter as long as they're hanging there, as long as they're clean. White always seems to give bathrooms that spa kind of feel, especially if you roll them. And that is it. That is 12 items and you can see the total here. Now, that's not to say that you need all of the things that I mentioned. You may very well have your own white towels or row pillows or napkins. This is assuming that you want to tone down your taste a little bit with some very plain but stylish options. So what do you guys think? Do you think that these are all necessary? Do you think there's some stuff I missed? Or are there certain items that you think everyone will absolutely already have? There might be. I do wanna add that this $250 that you are spending on staging before you put your house on the market, you will probably get tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold when you actually sell your home because the many, many, many studies and the many years that I've staged, I have seen up to 20% more for homes that are staged as opposed to those that are not. Could be 5%, could be 10%, but let's say that you're buying a house and it is $400,000. And you're good with that because it looks great. It's been staged. Even just those three areas. You say, great, 400,000, here you go. Now, the same home, not staged, someone might look at it and think, there are a few things I could do in here that's gonna cost me money. I'm gonna offer 390. That's kind of how it goes. A staged house makes it look finished. Anyway, my point is that $250 just turned into $10,000. i have seen it. That's just kind of how it goes. It's a very visual thing when buyers walk into a home for the first time. And that reminds me, I get a lot of questions about how much staging costs, which the answer to that is very complicated because there are different levels of staging. There are different types of homes, could be vacant, 
could be occupied, could be kind of vacant, kind of occupied. Anyway, if any of you want me to go over pricing, how it works, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, that is it for this video on how to stage your own house for $250. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Design Time. Thank you.